Kafka, she was amazing. She was born 1791 and lived until the early 1840s. But famously, she was one of the first piano virtuosos to travel and turn the piano to the side. Most of the time we think of Liszt or Clara Schumann, maybe 15 years later, turning the side so Liszt could, you know, could see this profile, but really it was acoustically to get a better sound of the instrument. So about 15 years uh, before she was in England, she was all throughout the continent, and she had two children, and her husband said, this piano thing is, is very nice, but I think it's time for you now to stay home and dedicate your life. So she went to court and sued him for divorce, which was incredibly rare at the time to be emancipated after you've had children. And she took her children and she made a living from giving lectures about music. Music, which is, if you think 1820s, 1830s, this is really amazing. And the two pieces we're doing today are a selection of mazurkas, which are these small sort of domestic pieces that would have been the purview of the woman to have enough sort of social talents for domestic enjoyment and entertainment. So this is with the realm. But then I'm doing this fantasy, which shows her whole sort of virtuosic concertizing side. So looking at the dichotomy of her life, so fascinating. I'll play one of the mazurkas, C major. <laughs> major. And more to come.